Hello. Today we're going to show you how to install Net2 onto your computer. So this can take a little while so what I'm going to have to do on some of the stages is I'll pause the um, demonstration while we wait for some of the things to load because some of the parts can take a fair while so we'll start by opening the setup file there we can get this software from Paxton or from your local recommended installer The first page that you will be shown is to choose the language that you want it to be installed in. So we'll select English. We'll agree with the license. And for today, we are just going to use um, just the Net2 Lite option, which is just your basic software, which will allow you to run your access system with pretty much most of the functions that you'll need so we'll go ahead with that we'll just leave everything going in its default location and we're gonna put the ad the icons to the desktop now this part of the installation when it says it can take a few minutes it will and especially part when it comes to shortly it will um, start installing all the SQL software that it needs that really will take a fair while if by any chance you're reinstalling it because your computer has had issues don't connect your computer to your access control equipment until you've added all your users into the database you'll be installing a blank database so that is what your access control system will end up having The first part of that bit of installation there has probably taken the best part of three to four minutes to complete. It then changes like I commented earlier to installing the SQL server and this when it says it will take five to ten minutes it will take that amount of time so I'm going to pause this again and I'll come back to you when this is finished. Also a quick note is that if you have any desktop readers, any 485 to 232 converters or USB adapters that connect you to your Net2 access control panels, please disconnect these while you're doing the installation and don't reconnect them until the installation is actually completed. And just for your information, the software that I'm installing is version Once the SQL files are finished installing and the database has create, been created, it will bring up this installing page which will show you the progress of the rest of the installation.
it'll probably come up with some kind of security warning as it would when you're installing any other piece of software and I'm just going to agree to that because I recognize the name of the program And once it's actually finished, it will actually bring up this option here. And if you've installed it from an older CD, if you click on finish, it will check for updates and basically start the installation again to update it to the latest version. But I know I've got the latest one, so I'm not going to check for updates. I'm just going to click on finish. So now my desktop I have an icon that looks like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the next two program that'll bring up the window that's showing that it's starting the server I'm going to enter the default password on there and this is basically what the software will look like once you've installed it onto your PC What I'll do is in my tutorial number one, when I'm installing these systems, I will tend to start with using departments. Then I will go to time zones, then to access levels, and then I will start adding all the users. And if you watch through the tutorials, once you get to the point of adding users to the system you'll see why I work from the bottom of the list up to the top because then all the information you need is there and you can just keep on adding users etc to the software if you've got any questions please send me a message and I'll try and get back to you Otherwise, thank you for watching the demonstration for installing Net2 onto your PC. Please bear in mind that the first few minutes I did skip a lot of the installation. I think I skipped probably about 10 minutes worth of installation time. I'd probably allow about 15 minutes, 20 minutes to properly install the software depending on your computer might be a little faster might be a little slower i hope this has helped you thanks